around these premises, the vehicle is driven not too fast. Well, this is one of the ambulance service vehicles that operates in this hospital. The Harper Kanzi team is also in the vehicle to help and observe the process taken after the ambulance reaches to this point. Today it brings a patient who has an illness that will soon come to know. We are accompanied with some few doctors to instruct and show way to the patient into the hospital. At the entrance, we are warmly welcomed by Dr. Catherine Naliaka Nyonge Sawata, who permits the entry of our team inside the hospital. Now, in case you're wondering where we are, we are at Texas Cancer Center TCC, the largest tertiary care public referral hospital in the country. This is a private health facility that specializes in cancer treatment as well as oncology, including chemotherapy and radiotherapy services. We have come to see the work that is done here with the Hapakazi 2 on Look Up TV. We choose this room as the rest of the doctors go to different service rooms. Our patient who is our main contact here begins our checkups. After then. Hi, I'm Lucia Tieno. I'm 33 years old. I'm turning 33 next month, July, on 17th. Atino's problem began this year February. She needed to take action on this. I used to have uh, a, specific, a specific problem. I, I always had recurrent UTIs and uh, abnormal vaginal discharge, which made me so uncomfortable. Now, uncomfortability is a state of discomfort. What did she do next? I went to several hospitals, I consulted a lot of people and at times I would experience pain in my pelvic region and I was just wondering what this could be because after consultation I was told to do this, do that, been on a lot of antibiotics and then this one particular doctor advised me to maybe go for a pap smear and I was hesitant. A pap smear, also called a pap test, is a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. A pap smear involves collecting cells from your cervix, detecting cervical cancer, early with a pap smear gives you a greater chance at cure. A pap smear can also detect changes in your cervical cells that suggest cancer may develop in the future. Detecting these abnormal cells early with the pap smear is your first step in halting the possible development of cervical cancer. I didn't want to believe it because throughout my mind I was just thinking no, maybe it could be something else. Because at the first time she suspected it could be cervicitis. After the pathology test, the doctor showed her that the cancer had spread. So I was done for cancer screening. And she told me that my cervix wasn't looking good and it was suspicious of cancer. Who does suspicion come to reality after the screening from the gynecologist? So the doctor advised me to do a biopsy test, which I did. Which is a procedure to remove a piece of tissue or a sample of cells from your body so that it can be tested in a laboratory. Unfortunately, after waiting for four weeks. And uh, when the results came out, it was unfortunate that it showed that I had cervical cancer. After that, Ateno was booked for surgery in April later on and this brings her to the Texas facility. So today I'm in Texas for radiotherapy and chemotherapy treatment. A treatment that Dr. Amanya says is ongoing and will be fully administered at Texas Cancer Center. Basically we do it on a daily basis Monday to Friday and uh, she has already done two sessions of two cycles of chemotherapy. So today was her 17th cycle of radiotherapy. Well, uh, most of the time it depends with the type of the disease, but for her case, then she has uh, around 25 sessions of radiotherapy with uh, five, say, five cycles of chemotherapy. Yes, so for her, she has done three already, four pending for chemotherapy, and has done 17 of 
the radiotherapy. So around eight to go for the radio. Just eight to go for the radio. Now, the Hapakazi team leave it at that point and switch gears to another section, the chemotherapy center. After a short briefing, we meet our second patient. There are a couple of patients here, but our main contact patient is Marion, who is continuing with the fifth chemotherapy session. Hi Marion. Hi. Kosaram. Kosaram. Marion is suffering from leukemia a cancer of the body's blood-forming tissues, including the bone marrow and the lymphatic system. Texas, Texas, Pia na yesa penda tumanya yako na mbonjo kama yangu. Hakunje hapa na atatimu. Hime kwangu ilianzia kwa kufura mingu. Kuhema hema, siye sitembe ambali. Kukura inakuwa shinda. Kwanza nititimbiwa kuenda chemist. discharge Kienda nyumbani hali ikakuwa mbaya tena, ikarundi keruwea, wakaniongeza ndamu tena, wakani discharge. Sata menye nirurundi mara ya tatu, ndiyo wali niongeza ndamu mbili, mbati hiyo temi nilikuwa na nusipirindi na mbilindi. Saa toka hapo, ndiyo nikakunja Texas. Kesa nikali, bati ukichukua hiyo hali, pesa si kumbo kuliko hali yako. Indeed, all of them are important lakini hali yako ya afya ni muhimu zaidi. Now, hapa kazi is learning a lot. The work is awesome, but knowledge is power. Those are some of the depths patients have to undergo to save their health. And this leads us now to a conversation with the head of the entire facility that prides itself of a name. We are invited to our office. A doctor from a humble background, Nyongesa Wata, believes in hard work and effort. She says it's not easy listening. Oh, Hi. doctor, doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Have so, have a seat. Thank you. Mm. Wow. So So for me, I'm the firstborn in a family of 10 children. Um, my father, at the time I joined school, he actually left his job. I was born to teenage parents. My mom was about 13 years old and my dad was um, in form two. So the, I saw my parents really struggling to bring up this young family and uh, babies were coming every other year. We had, my parents had young children and um, being the firstborn I had to take responsibilities up a bit more faster than the other siblings and uh, when I go to school when they close school I come home they they demand for my performance with your report Catherine we want to see it how have you performed and that pushed me to be a leader and I always uh, excelled in my school I was um, among the best students both in primary school, secondary school, high school, I, I did very well. And that was my journey. And I saw my dad struggling to raise school fees, having to sell his ancestral land just for me, uh, my siblings, really the boys. <laughs> Sorry, you came after me and they didn't have even uh, land to inherit from my parents because I consumed it on my education. But that uh, humbled me, uh, seeing just the struggle of my parents to educate me. 
and being discouraged how they should not educate a girl child that this girl she's just going to get married and all your money will be to waste i had to prove the society wrong that girls can also do it and from there i got uh, accepted into secondary school missing girls high school i did well and i joined um, the university of nairobi Fortunately, I managed to get a bursary from this health loan to pay for my school fees at the University of Nairobi. When I completed, went to do internship, and for my now um, specialized degree as an oncologist, I got another scholarship through the WHO under the umbrella of the International Atomic Energy Agency, and they sponsored me to go to the University of Witwatersrand Rand in South Africa to pursue my dreams. Sometimes um, I believe that God rewards hard work and uh, I put in a lot of hard work. I was fortunate enough to get a partner who was supporting me. So how we started, I, I, I saw there was a gap in the market uh, for cancer patients. They were waiting for a very long time to access care. And we, from my little savings, I had mortgaged a house, we had to put it up on sale, raise some deposit, approach the bank, ask them. This is like a, it's a public, private, I can say maybe community service. Uh, so they, they saw the gap and asked me to put up a business case. So using uh, consultants, we put up a business case. And through that business case, we approached the bank for financing. Uh, I also took a personal loan, mortgaged my house. And um, from there, we, 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 we now took up the, the loan to, to, do the, to, to have the facility. So in, initially, they gave us loan to buy land. We started repaying that. After some time, now they gave a loan to do the initial construction, which we did the construction. And then later, uh, clients started coming in. And from there, the rest has it's been like we pay the loan, attend to clients, and that's how it has been. Now we boast of attending to cancer patients, trying to bridge the gap in cancer care, employing uh, a lot of uh, youths and uh, other people just to, 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 to give an opportunity for them to work at the Texas Cancer Center. Why did I choose oncology? As I was growing up, I actually thought I'd be a pediatrician. I even thought I'd be a radiologist, the doctor who, who reports uh, about uh, CT scans, MRI and everything. But I kept on changing my mind. And finally, after my internship, when I came to Nairobi, I met one of my professors who is an oncologist and told me, Catherine, try this field. And for sure, I went there and gave it a try. So sometimes it is your dream, but sometimes also listen to your seniors for guiding and counseling and just to get direction. And um, I don't regret uh, the field I chose. I'm happy about it. And uh, I just thank God for giving me that uh, talent and an opportunity to explore um, what I study in well, Hapa Kazi is learning a lot. Remember this patient? Lucia Teno. After speaking to Dr. Amanya, she's now ready for radiotherapy session. And now, we are here waiting for direction from Dr. Janet Keunga, who is a radio specialist at Texas. So, we're taking you through the therapy according to the date, uh, the prescription, the A few moments later, we head on to the radiation room where you'll see the whole process with the help of Dr. Nyongesa and Dr. Janet. For privacy, we give her some few minutes to change. Thereafter, Hapakazi too is set to witness a Tino's radiation session. Some patients feel anxious and scared. Nyongesa assures it's painless. Mm -hmm. uh, if they're children, those ones Below three years, most of them, then we have to select them because they are very scared. But all the children, we talk to them, they understand. Yeah. And also the patients are sometimes are anxious, so we assure them that 
The radiation is painless and you don't go to stay here. It's painless. 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 Yes, it's painless. And it's a short time. Latino was already prepared for it after undergoing previous sessions. But the first day, of course, I was so scared. Uh, she is so big, running around, front and back. I don't know what Yeah, but nowadays I'm just scared. Wow, nice. Yeah. So take the process then. Yeah. Now, Apakazi too waits and listens to the knowledge from Dr. Janet Keunga, who explains the whole process. Okay, uh, our patient is now ready for treatment. I've already set her. So I'm going to raise the coat. This on the coat of the coat. And this is our gantry where the treatment comes from. So I'm going to raise the coat. I sent the patient uh, as per the setup by the prescription, which the doctor had already prescribed. Just going to move my jumpsuit. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here we switch off the light for the purpose of sit-up. So sit-up with the light. Move my coach. Thank you so much ladies and gentlemen kukweli umeaskia kutoka kwenye Dr. Nyongesa mbapo if you've not taken your NHIF at least to assist you in the support of the radioactivity please do so as soon as possible because you never know How do you feel about that? I can say Texas is a small heaven on earth because the first place that I was supposed to get my treatment it was so expensive I can say Texas is very affordable and I thank the entire team for making the treatment so affordable for us. Yeah. So my name is Dr. Catherine Nyongesa Wata, and I take this opportunity to thank to thank Look Up TV for this uh, space they have given me, and thank you also to the crew on Hapakazi Two. Bye. Thank you.
Wow! Service and quality. Texas is indeed a home for healthy living. Doctorate is not just work but it's built from a heart of saving lives. She has managed to help many cancer patients who come here for treatment. Indeed, every modern equipment for treating cancer is here. Work is seen, work is done. This is Appa Kazitu that has learned a lot from morning till now. And I believe we are in a degree in the doctorate. This is Texas Cancer Center. You can call me Dr. Sus today because I earn a degree in doctorate. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hapakazi 2 on Look Up TV.